man. How you doing? How are you? Good, good, good to see you. Good to see you. What are you? How are you, man? <coughs> How are you guys? Good, you? Doing good. Nice. What are you doing after this shave, dude? Uh, who knows? Most likely something pretty epic. I like to go all out when I'm feeling confident. Ever tell you about the time I got kidnapped by a wild pack of bachelorette girls? No. Was it epic? Extremely epic. I was waiting for some friends alone at this weird karaoke bar, and I don't know what got into me. Must have been the real good shave I had that morning, but I started singing 80s power ballads for this room full of strangers. And dude, I slayed. Perfect pitch, insane breath control, I climbed up on a stack of songbooks, I serenaded all the single ladies. You know what? I serenaded all the non-single ladies too. I was pitching musical woo at newlyweds, divorcees, the recently betrothed. We're talking universal appeal. I was transcendent. Hold on, dude. Everybody thinks they're good at karaoke. No, this was different. You could see it in their faces. I changed these people's lives. Anyway, it turns out there was this bachelorette party there. It must have been like 30 women. Loud, crazy, covered in, you know, party stuff. After my performance, these women were obsessed with me. They kept putting small amounts of money in my belt loops and buying me drinks, giving me little back rubs. Sounds like you were there. A stripper? Yeah, you can say it. I'd become their stripper. A fully clothed stripper with a strong sense of personal boundaries, but a sort of stripper just the same. So my friends show up, and we head out for a night on the town. And this bachelorette party followed us. Wait, they just followed you? Yeah, man, they followed me. To other bars, to a fried chicken place, to a drugstore to buy this special shampoo my friend needed. He had a scalp thing. But the ladies didn't bug him about it. They were cool. And then finally, to the hotel. And then they all came up to my room. Oh my god, two. Yeah, it took them four and a half elevators to do it, but they all got up there. And this bellboy saw me leading this parade of women down the hall like the Pied Piper of party. You're my hero, he said. To which I reply, I'm no hero. I'm just a guy who's really, really good at karaoke. So what happened? Oh. The ladies all went to sleep as soon as we got in. Partying's great, but a lack of good quality sleep can lead to a number of chronic health issues, and these gals seemed to get that. And I looked over them all and I said, sleep well, my army of partiers. You mojito drinkers, you high-heeled stumblers with your novelty necklaces and your neon feather boas. Sleep well, for you have earned your rest. That was an insane story. Well, my friend, I live an epic life. Mirror. Confident, comfortable. Take this face to the karaoke bar. You gonna invite me this time? You gonna hit on my sister again? Hey man, she was there. I can't help it. You can help it. How? You just gotta turn off the gaze.